Hey guys, I have a totally new project that I'm gonna take on. Something I've never done before, something kind of different for this channel, but I am building a larger chicken coop. So if you watched my last video, uh, we're kind of cooped up at the house due to this pandemic, and I decided to finally get chickens. I've been wanting, oh, there's my load from Home Depot. Caleb and I are just waiting for the load to show up. So I bought a bunch of stuff. I'm jumping in with both feet and I'm gonna make a larger chicken coop. I'm gonna keep this one and just use it for chicks as I get them acclimated to the group of other chickens. I've been wanting to do this for years, but with this pandemic and everything, I just thought now is a great time to just to help make this family a little more sustainable, uh, make us a little more independent. Uh, obviously we're already off grid, so mostly off grid. <laughs> so we do have that going for us as well, but now we're gonna have chickens. My wife is totally against a rooster, unfortunately. I would like to have one, so we, we can't really have chicken meat, but we're gonna have plenty of eggs. So in this video here, I'm gonna make a larger chicken coop and make a bigger run. So this whole area pretty much is gonna be a chicken run. And I hope to have maybe 10, 12 chickens at some point. And hopefully you can hear me, by the way, I, it's pretty windy out here and I don't have a proper mic or camera set up, but here we go. Well, there he goes. We have our wood and I have my project to work on while we're stuck here in quarantine. This will be a really fun project. I know it's, like I said, definitely different than the EV stuff I'm normally working on, but it's still sustainable. So I think it's kind of related, but anyways, here we go. I'm gonna start building a chicken coop. Well, we have some awesome weather, surprisingly. It was supposed to rain all day today, but the wood arrived this morning and I am going to start working on this chicken coop. I have some very elaborate plans that I sketched out but I'm also just gonna kind of wing it. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of other YouTube videos and how other people built their chicken coops. And I took a lot from each one of them. One of the ones that I really liked is, uh, is the one that Bob Vila actually built. I'll post a link below. And it just seems so simple and it seemed like a, a good design to kind of follow. So I'm doing something similar to that, just a lot bigger. So this is where I'm gonna leave it for now. Made pretty good progress. The studs and everything, all the walls went up great. That was actually quite quick. I've done a lot of work with studs and finishing apartments, but the chicken wire was kind of a pain. I am using a hand stapler and it just sucks. If you do anything like this, then you're really gonna want some kind of power stapler. My hands are hurting already. So that's up. Uh, another hard part is trying to make this tight. I think it actually looks okay. But that was the hardest part so far is trying to keep that tight and nice and a part that i kind of screwed up on i wanted the overall width the total width to be six feet and rookie move i forgot to take into account the thickness of the longer walls and i made this outer wall six feet so i ended up having to put it on the outside the plan was to put it on the inside in between these two walls but oh well it still went together just fine it's still a little wobbly because it still needs to be attached to something down there. And on this end over here is where the actual chicken coop that I'm building is gonna be. So the new one's gonna be right here. It's gonna be six by six. And this one is getting moved into that back corner over there. And yeah, this real estate is filling up pretty quick. I thought there'd be more room, but now that this is all up, I'm looking and noticing that the space here is gonna be a little tight, but I do plan on free ranging these guys as much as possible. We do have the fenced in area here for my dog and my kid, but I own all of this land and they could go out there if they wanted to. But yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. Decent progress, and depending on how the weather is, maybe I can start the chicken coop, get that going uh, tomorrow. We'll see. Well, it's day two, and unfortunately, I won't be doing anything out there today. We're getting 30 mile per hour wind gusts, and it's raining. So unfortunately, it looks like I can't make any progress today. Really sucks. I'm really eager to get out there and, and do some more building, but yeah, I can deal with maybe a little rain, but the wind gusts when you're trying to move sheets of plywood, that's that's not gonna work. So hopefully tomorrow is better. <laughs> so it's still day two, it's cold, it's windy, it sucks. 
but we did have about an hour of sun. So I get out here and start working on some stuff. And of course it turns dark and dreary uh, about 30 minutes later. So again, it's super windy. Sorry. At some point, maybe I'll get a mic that works, but they're kind of expensive. But anyways, I got this done, this water barrel. I did it with spare parts, so I didn't actually have to leave the house and get us infected with... Cur oh, wait, I can't say that word. Uh, I can't... I did have to leave the house. I did it with spare parts. So thankfully, I actually happened to have all of the stuff I needed. The bricks don't look nice. I don't really like that all that much, but whatever. I mean, you got to raise it up a little bit. And the plan is to have this bring water over into the chicken coop and I'm gonna do a little watering system that I've seen online. You might also notice I've got a board back here. I started building one of the walls thinking I had some time to maybe do a little work in those 30 minutes, but unfortunately with the sun gone and it being cold and it's, it was just snowing here a second ago, I guess I'm done. Uh, so hopefully day three. Yeah, wow. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see if I can huge snowflakes right now. So unfortunately the forecast doesn't really look much better than this for the next few days. I'm gonna try, but we'll see how it goes. But we woke up to some snow. Happy Easter. <laughs> this is crazy, this wind is nuts. My son is back there finding some Easter egg. So unfortunately with this wind and these temperatures, no work is getting done today either. Maybe tomorrow. guys so it's been about a week and a half maybe two weeks since all that wood showed up and I've been working on this slowly here and there but we've just had some really cold and really windy days and I'm also watching my son Caleb because all the schools are closed so I haven't really had a lot of time to come out here build and film instead I've just decided to build here and there usually just a couple hours at a time, but I'm making some pretty good progress. I'll take you over here and show you guys what I have so far. Thank God it's not windy right now, because that's been the other issue. It is always windy here, but thankfully right now it's not windy. So I have a little window here that I can show you guys what I've done so far. <laughs> so keep in mind, it's definitely not pretty yet. I still have a lot of work to do. I just wanted to make a basic overview of what I've done so far and, and what I have going on. So I've got a rain barrel there that is going to catch water and send to a drinking system. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and saw how other people did it. And I just kind of copied it and fit it for my coop, but that's pretty cool. I'll talk about that another time. And this little section right here is a secondary coop. It was definitely an afterthought, but I built it because I'm gonna be having chickens of different ages. And what you should do from what I've read and what I've seen online, is that you want to have them close to the other chickens, the main chickens in here, so they can get acclimated to them because chickens have a pecking order. And yeah, so I wanted to build this so I can have new chicks in here. And then eventually once they're to the same size, they can go into the main area over here. This is actually for sale. I have it on Facebook Marketplace. I bought that initially, but I thought it was a lot bigger <laughs> before I put it together. So I am getting rid of that. That's gonna be out of here, hopefully at some point. But for now, it's holding my two Bielfelders. Still getting used to it. <laughs> it's holding those two chickens until I can get them into the main coop area. So let's head over there. I designed this just by looking at ideas online, looking at how other people have built their chicken coops. I put the doors together. I did all that. So this one 
opens this way. Yeah, my hands are super dirty. <laughs> and that one right there opens that way so I could let them go out in here and they could roam all of this. I have 20 acres here. I don't really wanna let them out into this area here because this is where my dog and my kid play and chickens poop. <laughs> so I don't really want it in here. So yeah, I designed this with that in mind so they can go right out the door there if they wanted to, if I decide to let them free range. You can see I have my egg boxes right in there. I again, looked online, looked at some different measurements to figure out like what dimensions were best. Uh, oh yeah, you have my resin beer. This is actually really awesome stuff if you're a beer guy. Uh, so then anyways, I am doing linoleum. I just happen to have quite a few scraps laying around. So I put that down here. I'm hoping it sticks. That's why I have so much weight on here right now. It's only like 30 degrees. It's April 17th. So far, it looks like it's been sticking. It looks like it's gonna be good, but it's gonna be so much easier to clean out this chicken coop by having linoleum in here. It's gonna also help prevent the wood from rotting over time. But this whole section that I'm at right now is a large double door. They're gonna fold outwards and I'm gonna have a window inside each one. It's the perfect height for my wheelbarrow. So I can just pull that right up here, pull everything right out and I'll be good. And my plan is to actually go with the deep bed method. I think that's what they call it, but I saw it online. Carolina Chicken Coops uses it for pretty much all of their builds, but that's when you have a deep bed of mulch uh, four inches or more of hemp mulch. And it really just seems like a really great way to go. And according to them, you only have to clean out your chicken coop once every year or two. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Uh, hemp mulch isn't super cheap. It was like 40 bucks a bag. So the pine mulch is definitely cheaper. I'll probably start with that stuff just because I have some for these guys and in, in this thing here. But eventually I want to go with that. And then on this side, I obviously don't have it up yet. <laughs> uh, I have an extra window that I'm gonna put right there. It's just a window from this house that was sitting in the basement that was brand new. I figure I'll put it in here. And this is gonna have chicken wire down here. It's gonna be a gable roof, actually, pretty much just like my roof right up there. Oh darn, the wind's picking up. So that's what I have so far. Sorry, the wind's picking up. We're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight. Here it is at the end of April and we're still getting snow. I know this is totally different than the Tesla stuff that I usually talk about, but I'm just a tinkerer. I like working on a lot of different things and I really like the idea of sustainability. So yeah, I wanna do chickens. If you like the content, want to see more, make a comment, give it a thumbs up, all that stuff, just so I know. I could definitely talk about this some more. I could continue with this build and show you guys how I finish this thing out, but I don't want to waste anybody's time. So if you guys don't care, then I won't even bother. But I think it's pretty cool at least. It's been a lot of work. <laughs> but I guess that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.